our patrols every half hour, reporting directly to me. Are we preparing for a visit from Biotechnica? V, or... you're here. What is she doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend to do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. Do you think I'm that stupid? I am starting to wonder. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But it... chance like this. A chance at what? Rotting up the job we came here to do? We're pissing Militech off, so they hammer us into the dirt right here. Shit! Pan Am, can you please tell him? I've already tried. Let it go, Mitch. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. I thought the Biotechnica contract had withered and died. Saul insists we see it through to the end. To prove the Aldecaldos keep their word. Crop protection? Who gives a damn about crop protection? All Saul is going to prove is that a corp can walk all over us, and we'll say thank you and ask for more. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Let me guess, whole thing's your idea? How did you know? So I wouldn't be quite so pissed if it weren't. I believe V is right. If this had been Saul's idea, he would have seen it as the greatest plan on God's green earth. Bull, Saul isn't that petty. He's simple. Simply a coward. He would rather play it safe, bide his time. For the family. This basilisk worth another fight with Saul. Yes, a craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this Biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back. Drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob also on board. And you plan to grab the Basilisk, how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else. We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take to us all. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having the basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? We'll make better use of it right here in America. How are you? You know how it is? Did you try to get Saul Precisely. on board again? We are all grouped up together. No luck, huh? But what no. can we do? Okay, I know. everyone listen. I know. Militech worry. will transport the basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, Sunshine. Okay. I'm in. Hmm. Okay. Thanks. 
First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Uh, come on. Did you get your hands wet? Screw you. But are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even asked. Nobody's gonna notice you gone back at camp. We have arrived. Big bastard. I like it so much. Maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. Wear him back. Saul would be on board with that. Are we ready? Okay. The Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Seems to be a lot of abandoned stations around. This one belonged to a corporation that ran a cement factory. They use it as their reloading point. Didn't take the train engine when they left? The engine's been here going on 40 years, since the Blackwall days. For a time, everybody had to go back to the old ways. This engine ran on nuclear, like submarines do. All the weirder they left it behind. Corpse. They probably listed it in a spreadsheet as cost optimization. It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me, too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. Junction. Free. Like you could set off on a thousand journeys all at once. Perhaps more simply. Okay, here we are. Sure thing. Some sort of Stone Age control panel. Hmm. Let's find the oh, well, bus. well. Got something. Good job.
There goes nothing. It worked! Come look! Little engine that could. I wanted to speak with you. What do you want to talk about? I know this may sound foolish, because I asked you to help me. But... Why are you doing this? Because it's important to you. But... is that all? I... Sorry, that sounded worse than I intended. Any more questions? No, I know everything I need to, I believe. Perhaps I should send Rogue flowers to thank her for introducing us. Mm, not really your style, don't think. I went out a card. Thank you for giving me a true friend, you manipulative whore. That's my girl. All right, let's rejoin the others. to speak with you. Is this a bad time? What do you want to talk about? I know this may sound foolish. Because it's important. Perhaps I should send Rogue flowers to thank her for introducing us. Mm, not really your style, don't think. I went out a card. Thank you for giving me a true friend, you manipulative whore. That's my girl. All right, let's rejoin the others. Convoy. Got eyes and ears on it? Yes. Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. Still Get your ass down a minute, honey. And breathe. Everything hey, Judy, what's up? Control. 
Speed. Convoy is already headed. Can you come over, Stat? Something happen? Yeah. Just come. You worried about Saul? We've quite some time left till dusk. Hmm. The car could use another one, Silver. Stars have emerged. We've got a few hours till dawn. You're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, oh, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Uh, was it someone I know? New. No. Scorpion. He came home from the war, head full of new ideas and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling, thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. Gonna try and get some sleep. Okay, it'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Couldn't sleep if you tried, could you? I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. That another area of your expertise? Got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course, that's the Big Dipper. And you see the small flickering star to the right? Yeah. You do? Oh dear, that means there's a major leak. Good night, V. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Let's ride, V.
It begins. What's the meaning of this? Exactly what you see. The basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am! You can see them from miles away! You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too. Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine, go right ahead. In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. Got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was ten years old. Seems still to be in fine working order. What's gotten into you? Family's with you on this, I think. Sure. Where did you get that impression? All I heard was silence. Saw him looking at that basilisk. Drooling. Nomads, Panzers, Panzers, Nomads. Had them from the start. We'll see. You need me again. All you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will. So you better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care. Sure. Be there soon. Fuck me. It is awesome. So I hear. Do nothing to me.
You seem worried. Follow your heart. Relax. Eat, drink, and be merry.